currently around negative eight degrees here on the shortest day of the year. I'm here with my brother Max and we bushwhacked about four kilometers out here in the woods. It took about an hour and a half, two hours. We just came across this beautiful little spot in the woods. And we're gonna set up a nice little camp and uh, enjoy a fire, cook some delicious food and bunker in because we're expecting uh, some snowfall tonight. We're gonna start a fire, we're gonna set up a place to camp, we're gonna cook some delicious food. It's my video now. Hey, my name is Max. I'm Xander's older brother. <laughs> yeah. And just enjoy the snowfall tonight as we uh, cook some food and just chill. Chill. Yeah. Two tarps, fire, snow. Yeah, I can work with this. There's a raven. I'm cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely sleep under mine, but I got, I got, <laughs> I know I gotta like tighten it up, obviously. Yeah. Kind of keen on getting a fire. That's shot. what I was thinking. Now it's home. Mm. Might want to kick that out a little bit. Yeah, I already see holes developing in your tarp. Yeah. I can see the holes? I see one. Oh, yeah. So we already put a couple holes in our tarps. <laughs> I love when camps come together. Mmm. Yeah, it's a satisfying feeling. Yeah. I'm gonna clearing out a little space for you. Yeah, because you arrive at a place and it's like, I see something here, but I don't know quite what yet. There's like a hinkling. Mm. <laughs> Whatever hinkling is. You know what a hinkling is. Inkling? <laughs> So we decided to pull back our tarps because we burned cedar just a second ago and the cedar is very volatile and it just sparks up everywhere. I actually already put a couple new holes in my tarp. I knew that was going to happen but I like to learn lessons twice just to really reinforce that <laughs> that lesson you know. Maybe three times. <laughs> Max has learned a lot of lessons. But, at this, by his but at this point like with all the lessons that I've learned it's just like redundant like I don't even I know, I just put another duct tape on and just duct tape the lesson over, right? Traveling and traveling a lot of cities. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I, I want to see the natural world more than anything. And I want to do it in a way that is like 
off the beaten path, more or less. I don't know. The thing is, I do love people, though, so I don't mind being around people. Yeah, or talking no, to people. I, I like, I like, I like people too. So I, I, I mean, I like cities as well. I mean, I, I, yeah. I like it all. I, I'm just more interested in doing an Arctic River than going to Tuscany. So the best part about bringing your older brother camping is he has to fill that role of being the older brother in the family. So he works twice as hard and he does most of the work. All right, so we got chicken burgers, some beautiful looking buns right here, avocado, onions, tomato, artichoke and asiago dip, and some cheese. I made these at home to make it easier for myself. So I mixed ground chicken, panko, eggs, and Worcestershire sauce, keg seasoning, all together in a bin. And uh, sure enough, here we are uh, with these. <sighs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's always good. We always make it work. Or we don't, we just pretend that it's good. Mm. CGI. CGI it, yeah. CGI that chicken in there. Every time the food isn't burnt, it's computer generated imagery. <laughs> Moss adds a little foresty essence to the bun. Oh, I'm gonna go avocado on the bottom and the burger. You get a spoon? Uh, there's spoons everywhere. <laughs> Let me just serve myself. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Woods Diner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Douse it with Tabasco sauce. Honestly, my layering is subpar. But I think overall this is going to be pretty damn good. Yeah, no, I'm I ain't complaining. Man. This is this looks awesome. Mm. Very good though, eh? Mm. I love waking up after a morning of smoke inhalation and my voice is like four octaves deeper. <laughs> Just out here in the woods. <laughs> I think I never have enough until I have like way too much. Yeah, I definitely prefer tarp camping to the hot tenting. Yeah, I mean, it's just simpler. So much easier. Oh, I love the smell of cedar. We're gonna make some cedar tea. Like deer ac like accidents, the car accidents from deer po deer have gone down over the years due to gene pool changing. Yeah, that's an interesting question. That's mesmerizing. The nice part about the shortest day of the year is 
like it's dark so quick and you just don't feel obligated to do anything because it's dark. So you can just kick it by the fire and just relax. What an awesome time of the year. I have a question for you. You have a what for me? A question for you. Okay. What's your least favorite time of the year? My least favorite? Yeah. Huh. It's all changing. I used to hate the fall because it was it meant the impending doom of winter. <laughs> but ever since I started winter camping, I have begun to enjoy all seasons. Good answers. All right, we're finally hunkering in. It is uh, just past 10 o'clock. Temperature's dropping a little bit. The snow that we were expecting is uh, holding off, holding off, so. Maybe we'll get some overnight, but uh, who knows? Fingers crossed, that'd be kind of nice to wake up to a winter wonderland. If not, we got some great breakfast plans, so I'm kind of pumped about that. Anyways, uh, see you guys in the morning. So being my older brother, Max has been my brother for as long as I can remember. In fact, my whole life. You know, we used to get up to a whole bunch of stuff when we were kids, like building forts in the woods, going to day camp, or just playing around at the cottage. But now that we're older, it's much harder to do things like that. So every opportunity we get to get outside and have some fun, we like to take. So it's always a pleasure to get out into the woods and build some forts and shelters and just hang out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as we did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.